It's nice to take a step back, think about what's out there, kind of go through the options and find the best one if you are considering getting something from that little trend that you're seeing. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. Today's video is a new kind of video that I've been wanting to do. It's gonna be something along the lines of trend forecast. I haven't figured out the name just yet, you'll see it based on what I named today's video but I wanted to do a little trend forecast and kind of talk about what I'm seeing that is rising in popularity with you guys and my takes on whatever that may be so today I wanted to talk to you guys about Ugg boots I'm sure you've seen them just blow up everybody's wearing Ugg boots they're literally everywhere on every single Instagram post so I figured we would talk about them I've also picked out a few of my favorite styles that are out right now so we'll talk about those too if you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe. And then if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at she's French, so just like the channel. So let's get started. So I've already highlighted this. Ugg boots are the shoe of the season right now, and rightfully so because they're very comfortable shoes for the winter. Also, I think that if you pick the right boot, they will really last you a very, very long time. I don't want to say forever, but pretty close. I know a lot of people that have had their boots for years, I have had boots for a long time as well. For full transparency, I actually sold the one pair that I had, but that's just because I was wanting to introduce a different kind of shoe in my closet. By the way, I'm a minimalist if you don't know, so I have a very, very small amount of clothing and shoes. And I had a pair of Ugg boots that I loved, but I wanted to introduce a different kind of boot that I could wear for more seasons than just the winter. So for me, that's a choice that I made, but that doesn't mean that I don't absolutely love Ugg boots, which is actually why I found so many styles that I wanted to show you guys because there are so many that I absolutely love. This season, I feel like they've really come out with very interesting pairs. I've never seen anything like the lineup that they have currently, so I figured it would be fun to show you guys some of my favorites. So let's get started. Let's talk about the styles that I'm really into at the moment, and these are some of the ones I would choose if I was to purchase some Ugg boots this season. First things first, I figured that I would start with my favorite style and that's the cozy. They really do look like slippers. I absolutely love them. I haven't seen a lot of people wearing them. I actually haven't seen anybody wear these yet. So they're definitely a more unique style even though they're very popular right now in general. My only concern for these is that they're very prone to getting dirty or I would think so anyway. I would be cautious about wearing them in the rain for example. I know Ugg boots don't go in the rain in general but honestly I feel like we've all <laughs> worn our Ugg boots in the rain before these i would definitely be very careful about but i do think they're a really cute pair and very different one last thing to note they are very slipper e but i think that they can be worn in a way that's really wearable and won't look like it's an actual slipper the next style is the taz that one is also a slipper but that one is a little bit of a platform as well i've seen them on molly may and i thought she wore them so well i love her style by the way i love everything she does personally for me what i would reconsider on with these is just the red stitching because i don't really like to pair red with my clothes i've you guys know I really don't wear much color. So that's something that I would consider is the red, something that you might get tired of. But if not, I actually love how the red plays into this style. I think it goes really well. And those look a little bit less like slippers, even though they definitely are just because of that platform. They're really different. I don't know that this pair specifically would be something considered timeless. I don't know how they're gonna be when you try to pull them out maybe a couple years from now. But I do think that they're a lot of fun. I do think they're wearable and I think that's a decision that you just have to make for yourself. If you have enough to choose from as well, maybe it's not that important. The next pair is the Numal Platform. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I call them the Velcro Uggs. I love these so much. I think those are my favorite style. I had a pair of Doc Martens very similar to those a few years ago that I loved. I loved the Velcro detail. It's something so different and also it's so nice to use Velcro. It's so easy to put on so I absolutely love that they also have a bit of a platform they're definitely the most kind of unique interesting style on the lineup but i do think that these are quite wearable and i think you would be able to pull them out a couple years later and still enjoy them and wear them um let me know what you think on those i think they're definitely very different but i just i don't know i love them 
something to consider. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the price of Uggs. They've always been actually quite premium. Those are 160 and they're all about in that price range. When I buy something personally, I try to hopefully get something that I can wear a couple years down the line. So I would hope that that's a purchase you'd be able to keep. So while they're a lot of fun and very trendy, I would still try to find something that you think you'll end up wearing over time as well. The next one is the classic mini platform. There's two styles to these. There's those that come a little bit higher, so more like ankle height, and then there's the ultra mini, which kind of hit below the ankle. I feel like those are a little bit awkward with the platform. I normally love the ultra minis, and that's actually what I had in my black pair, but I just feel like between platform and being very low, it kind of makes your foot look very big. I feel like having that little bit of extra height kind of makes the proportions work together a little bit better. Those are the most simple, but also the most loud, I think, because the platform is very considerable. It's definitely a lot of platform, but I do think they're fun and I do think that they're pretty wearable as well. They're kind of just like that classic silhouette with the platform. Let me know what you guys think about platform Uggs. I definitely was not expecting to see platform Uggs. I should have known though, because I saw their slippers get a little bit taller over time. But for some reason, I never connected the dots between platform and Ugg boots. Maybe just me. <laughs> the last pair from Ugg that I want to talk to you guys about are the classic mini two Ugg boots. That was a mouthful. I feel like those are the most classic. If you're going to grab any pair from the lineup that I've shown you from Ugg, I would grab these personally. While they don't have all the fun effects of like what's new right now, I do think that it's a pair that you'll love and wear very easily in the future. Like I said, something to consider with Uggs is the price. They're not cheap. So you definitely want to get something that you're not going to get tired of. While I love experimenting with fashion, you just have to do what's right for you. And hey, if you'll wear platforms for 10 years, then go for it. I personally love platform shoes and I do find them quite timeless. Most of my shoes do have a decent chunk of height and I love that. I don't think it's going anywhere, but you do have to consider that when you buy these. So those are the simplest ones. They're not going anywhere. And also I would recommend the chestnut because I feel like the chestnut is the most timeless. If I was to grab a pair, I would definitely grab this pair and this time I would grab it in chestnut. I love the black leather. I thought it was really different and it was very durable, but I just didn't love having a black Ugg. And of course, unfortunately, I realized that after owning them, but it's totally fine because I had them for two years. Really, really liked them, really enjoyed them. They really came in handy when I was pregnant and just wanting to be super cozy all the time. But if I was to go and purchase a new pair, I would definitely do chestnut this time around. These guys are the most true to the brand boots. The next pair that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually a cruelty-free option. They're from a brand called Posh California. They're really, really beautiful boots. And by the way, I might take it back on my favorites. I feel like they've all been favorites, but these are my true favorites because I love the option to roll them down and have like a little fluffy moment. I love fluffy everything. And by the way, fluffy is the nickname that I use for my husband. <laughs> But yeah, I just love fluffy. I love that extra comfort and I love how it looks on boots. I love the big chunky fluffy boots, but I also don't know that I'm ready to commit to that. So those will be perfect because you get an Ugg boot, but then you get to roll it down and have that little fluffy moment as well. With getting an off-brand Ugg, I would just be really careful about construction. I took a look at those on the website, really studied them, and they look to be really sturdy and constructed really well. I'm sure we've all tried some off-brand ones that kind of end up collapsing on themselves. I think with those, it's definitely worth looking into because they're just they're just prone to that. They're kind of a squishy shoe. So I would try to set yourself up for success when you first buy them rather than regretting it after a couple wears on a different pair. Those are amazing. I love the color. I love everything about them. And last but not least, I really wanted to talk to you guys about the boot guard. I've actually seen a lot of reels of guys taking those and putting them on sneakers, and I think it looks so cool. I love that that's an option, that you can put them on your Ugg boots to protect them a little bit more, but then also to put them on different shoes. I just think that's genius. They have really cute colors. They also had like a terrazzo print, which I thought was really fun, and I really liked it. They also have like a clear and then a black, of course. The black is probably the easiest to wear. They also have a chestnut that will match your boots perfectly. I thought that was really fun and I really like the idea of being able to put it on different shoes, not just your Uggs. So definitely something to look into as well. 
so that is it that is my little lineup i would love to know if you guys enjoy this video i feel like it's so fun to talk about what we're seeing a lot but perhaps from the scope of a minimalist where i really do think a lot about the purchases i make it's so hard because i also fall into that world of being tempted of course i get tempted by everything it's literally designed to be like that it's nice to take a step back think about what's out there kind of go through the options and find the best one if you are considering getting something from that little trend that you're seeing like i said ugg boots are not going anywhere let me know if you guys are grabbing ugg boots or let me know what your favorite from this lineup is i would love to know and with that that is the end of the video i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you're not yet subscribed please 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 subscribe it would mean the world to me and then i will catch you in the next video bye guys yeah.